and I have me one of these Iron Monk chocolate habanero stouts. I'm gonna give it a try. I haven't tried one yet. So I know it's a dark beer for sure, and I do like the dark beer. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Got a little uh, habanero burn to it. Just basically the Guinness with a little pepper flavor. And I, I, not a big fan of habaneros myself. I like the heat content of them, but they, to me, they have a kind of a metallic taste to them. So I actually like the ghost pepper better. It actually has a better flavor to me, especially when it's you know, mixed properly, and it's where you can enjoy it, and not just burn yourself to death with it. You know, but but uh, that's actually pretty good. I don't have that metallic taste to it, but I do get a little flavor from the heat. But it's not very, not very hot. You know, but you do have that peppery flavor. Anyway, I seen a tag going around, and uh, I was not tagged in any video here. But uh, I wanted to do it. I saw Plant Based Outdoors do it, and he didn't tag anybody. He said, but if you, anybody wants to do it, do it. So I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to tag anybody either. Um, but I'd like to see everybody do it, as many people that wants to do it, because uh, the tag is uh, the three most educational channels tag. And this is pretty tough for me, you know, because I have learned a lot from a lot of people. You know, whether it be just, you know, one little thing here, one thing there, you know, I've learned a lot. And uh, over the years, you know, and I've, you know, I've learned everything from everybody, you know, and, uh, you know, like, like uh, plant, Kyle from Plant Based Outdoors, I've learned some stuff from him. You know, he is the knot king. So I've learned knots, a lot of knots from watching him, you know, and, you know, and, uh, Uh, John Wayne Yeager uh, for uh, you know at one foot in the wild learn some stuff from him uh, Panhandle Prepper I've learned things from him um, I've learned things from John from Alpha, Alpha Charlie Concepts as well because uh, when it comes to me and my channel my uh, content is you know varies it, you know it's not just a straight bushcraft channel it's not just a straight survival channel it's not just a straight gun channel but i think all of the pieces of the pie are all one thing for me you know survival firearms bushcraft i think like i've said it many times it all goes hand in hand to me as one i put it all together as one thing and uh but the ones that i've learned from the very most i believe I mean, this has been tough, like I said, because I go through my list and I'm thinking, man, I've learned some stuff from them, I've learned things from them, and uh, it's just, you know, so much. And that's like what Kyle said from Plant Based Outdoors, is that you come to YouTube for two reasons, really. One is entertainment, and two is education, to learn something. And we all learn from each other. and. Even though a lot of the stuff that we do is a lot of the same, everybody has little bits of different ways of doing things, and and we learn from that. And you know, you might see somebody doing something that you've been doing, but they've made it a little bit easier, you know, or they made it a little bit better, and just kind of things like that, you know. I mean, we all come here to learn, but it's also entertainment because I we all enjoy each other's videos, no matter what we're doing. You know, I've seen you know Nathan four zero one with him, you know him. Uh, and, you know him forging things with his forge you know whether it be you know uh you know with, with his uh flint strikers and it's the same with uh carolina chris he's doing his forge thing you know he made a squirrel cooker a while back that you know just it's all excellent stuff you know what i mean but um but like i said for me you know i have a different i have a slight i have a slice of pie in different areas 
So here, here are the top three for me now. Like I said, I, it's, this is tough, and I've learned a lot from a lot of people. And I can make this a, a hundred, you know, channel tag, basically, you know, because of just something I've learned from somebody. But the ones that I've learned the most for, and I've also been subscribed to these people for a long time, too. So that also, you know, counts, too, is uh, Matt from Black Hat Bushcraft awesome guy awesome channel super cool dude and I've learned a lot of stuff just from him and uh, if you're not a subscriber to him I will put a link to all these channels down below now if you're not a subscriber to him go check him out I mean he is pretty much strictly bushcraft awesome stuff though I mean and the way he lays things out and everything too makes it easier to you know like he presents it very well and explains it and goes into detail about it very cool and I've learned a lot from him you know and it, he has a great assortment of content on his channel dealing with bushcraft now also another one he's this guy's a pretty big channel though but uh, is Larry from far north bushcraft and survival and I think I believe he's in Alaska if I'm not mistaken so but a lot of what he does you know is you know bushcraft oriented as well very cool stuff a lot of survival tricks and techniques and things like that but he has a wide range of videos as well and I've learned a lot from him just you know various things and um, I, I think a lot of you may be subscribed to both of these guys already but here's another one and this is where I talk about where the slice of the pie is um, man it's hotter than hell out here uh, is uh, Brent 0331 now this has got to do with the military tactics camouflage effectiveness and things like that and uh, from a military standpoint of view and you know I learn from that stuff like I said before I've never been in the military but I learn that stuff and I learn things that might be useful to me such as patrolling techniques and ideas and things like that it's the same with Alpha Charlie concepts I could actually kind of lump those two together because they do a lot of similar stuff both have military backgrounds Marines I believe and uh, camouflage effectiveness patrolling you know kind of shit hits the fan thing from that angle you know of things you know I'm a firearms guy I believe in, in the ownership and use of firearms especially in a shit is a, situ a shit fan situation where you might need it to defend yourself and family you know uh, everybody has their different opinions on firearms and and what have you and I respect that you know um, and but for me I think firearms are essential it's just one extra added tool that helps you it's not a guarantee but it does help but him and uh, even really like I said Alpha Charlie concepts the, the, the talk about patrolling you know because if you're in a shit hits the situation fan uh, shit hits the fan situation that um, you know like me I'm out in the country you know if I'm out in the rural area and this goes for even like in the town too but if I'm in the, you know in that rural area is uh, patrolling the area you know there's you want to keep people that are up to no good you know away from whatever you're doing but what to look for how to maneuver how to plan for it excuse me thing and things like that but so I learned from those guys on that type of stuff so it's really four really if you add it if you had an Alpha Charlie concepts because a lot of, both of them are very similar and doing that and there's a lot of other videos that have that kind of other that kind of talk about them and I kind of go through them you know too but you know these guys do it on a consistent thing and uh, even though they're military and I'm not military a lot of the some of the stuff that they talk about I'm right there with the same kind of thought process on some of that stuff because I, I agree with a lot of it you know and it's basically just common sense really and uh, but but yes so black hat bushcraft the far north bushcraft and survival and Brent 0331 all excellent channels that I've learned stuff from 
over the years. I've been subscribed to all of them probably, oh, two or three years now, really. So, uh, yeah, very cool, very cool stuff. So, but yeah, like I said, you know, I'm not going to tag anybody with this because this is a tough, a tough tag, really. Because, like I said, I've learned a lot from a lot of people. And uh, I'm grateful for that. And I'm still going to continue to learn. And hopefully people can learn from me as well. And it's, you know, I appreciate that. Um, that the, the information that they presented. But, um, you know, so like I said, I'm not going to do any tags on it either. If you're going to, if you are going to do a video like this, do it. Do it, you know, just show us what your three three most educational channels are. And that could be anything that has educated you, you know. So, uh, you know, and if you want to put it, put a link down in my comments and the comments of my video so I make sure I can see it, I, I, I'd be all for that. But I'd like to see, you know, whatever everybody else, where they're learning from and what they're doing, you know, and things like that. So, uh, there you go, you know, and I think it's a cool tag. A very tough one because like I said you learn so much from so many so anyway keep it heavy and by the way this is like an eight-point beer 8.1 I think yep 8.1 habanero chocolate stout BAM <laughs>